Hello everyone, my name is Jason Gregerson. In this video, we're going to talk about the least squares solutions applications. So specifically, we're going to look at the following problem. I want to find the line that best fits the following data. So in other words, I have a series of points. And I'm trying to find a line that best fits this. Now there doesn't exist in this case a, a line that actually goes through all the points. So what I'd like to do is find the line that goes closest to most of the points. Boy, what do I mean by all of that? Well, the problem breaks down to looking for y equals mx plus b. I need to find the right line. To find the right line, I have to find the right values for m and the right values for b. Once I find those values, then I'll know what this line is. Now, the idea is that I wish, I wish that all the points were on the line. If they were on the line, they would all satisfy the equation of the line. So in other words, if my point 1, 2 was actually on the line, here's my point 1, 2, then I should be able to plug it into this equation, the equation for my line, and get a true statement. In other words, I should be able to take m times my 1, there's my x value, plus b, and I should get my y value, my y value of 2. And if 2, 3 was a point on my line, then I should get m times 2 plus b is equal to 3. I could keep going, m times 3 plus b equals 5 would be true if this point were on the line. m times 4 plus b would equal 4 if this point was on the line, so on and so forth. But what I see here is I'm just generating a system of equations. And I should be able to take that system of equations and rewrite it as a matrix equation. And I can. I can count this as my a, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then my second column would be the coefficients for all the b terms. But those coefficients are just all 1s. I take that matrix times my vector mb. These are the values I'm trying to find. And this equals the right-hand side, which in this case is all my y values, 2, 3, 5, 4, 5, 4, 8. So the idea of finding the right line is really just solving this matrix equation. But I've already said that there isn't a solution to this matrix equation. I could, of course, see this if I tried to do a row reduction, there wouldn't be a solution. So my next question would be, can I find a least square solution? And I should be able to not only find a least square solution, but I should be able to find a unique least square solution. Because when I look at my matrix A, I can see that the columns are linearly independent, so I should be able to find a unique least square solution. So that's what I'd like to find. I'd like to find the values for M and B that get me closest to my vector B over here. So what do I have to do? I have to look at A transpose times A x equals a transpose b. But in this case, I'm going to do a lot of my legwork using the software Mathematica. So I'm going to open up Mathematica, and I'm going to define all these points. I'm going to define my matrix A. I'm going to find my b vector. And I'm going to go ahead and find that least squares solutions. All right, so now I'm opening up Mathematica. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my points, because I'm going to plot these points in a little bit. Now, I could enter these as a list of points, a list of lists. But that's the same way that Mathematica views a matrix. So I'm just going to type these in in matrix form because it's a little easier for me to do that. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 points. The x coordinates are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And my y coordinates, if I can move over here and see my table, will be 2, 3, 5, 4, 5, 4, 8. So these would be all my points. Now if I just evaluate this, it will store those values into points. It will also show me how Mathematica sees that matrix, and it really does see it as a list of points. Now the next thing I want to do is define what A is. A is also a matrix, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And here I have those same x values in my first column. But now my, y, or my second column is just all 1s. Those are the coefficients of the Bs. And lastly, I'm going to define my B vector, the right-hand side of my matrix equation. And these are all the Y values. So this would be 2, 3, 5, 4, 5, 4, 8. 
So now I really defined all my pieces. And so I could go ahead and try to solve the system. On Mathematica, I have a pre-built command called linear solve. So that's what I will do. I will use linear solve. And normally for linear solve, I just put in a matrix, and I put it in the right-hand side, which gives me b vec. Now notice if I try to solve this system, it says, no, you can't do it. There are no solutions. Well, we already talked about that. We know there isn't a line that actually goes through all the points. So what instead what I want to do is I want to solve the least squared equation, the normal equation, which would be a escape tr escape will give me the transpose. And in Mathematica, to do matrix multiplication, I use the dot symbol. So this is a transpose a times x. And then my right-hand side would be a transpose times my b vector. So I'll see if I can find this, the least squared solutions. And sure enough, I have values here. These are the values m and b that get me closest to my b vector. Now I'd like to use those values, but I don't really like that it's outputting as a list of these two lists of one point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten the result. Now this is going to remove one layer of those brackets. And then lastly, I'm going to store these values as my m value and my b value for my, my line. And there I have that. And now I want to see if this is really giving me what I expect to get it. So I want to look at a couple of plots. First, I'm going to use list plot and plot my points. And there are my set of points. Next, I want to look at a regular plot, and I want to plot my m, x, plus b for these m and b values that I've calculated using my least squares technique. And I want to plot this line from x equals 0 to 8. Now I have my line. But really, to see if this is the best fit line, I want to show these two plots together. So I will, so I will show the two plots, this one and this one, together. And sure enough, I can see that that looks like the best fit line. It really is passing right through the middle of those points, hopefully minimizing my error. So I found the best fit line. Now let's see if we can spice this problem up a little more. I found the best line to fit my data. But what if I wanted to find the best quadratic to fit my data? The process would really be the same, except now I wouldn't be looking for y equals mx plus b but rather I'd be looking for y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And now instead of looking for an m and a b value, a slope and a y-intercept, now I'm looking for the right coefficients, the right a, b, and c values to make this quadratic the best fit to my data. But really I can generate my equations the same way. I would hope that all of my points would be on this quadratic, even though I know that's not going to happen. But if they were, I would get a times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c equals 2. I would get a times 2 squared plus b times 2 plus c equals 3, so on and so forth. So what I'm seeing is I'm, I'm really getting the same matrix A. I'm still getting all these coefficients of 1, except now those are all the coefficients to my c's. I'm still getting all these values each the coefficients to my b value. But now I'm also getting a new column, a column that's the square of those x values. So in this case, it would be 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, and 49. So my a, my a would just change by adding one column. Now what about my next vector here? This would no longer be m, b, but rather it would be a, b, and c that I would be trying to find. And that right-hand side would actually stay exactly the same. So let's modify this in Mathematica. All I really have to do is multiply that A matrix. So I will just go here. I will hit Control, comma, add a new column. This column is 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, and 49. So now I have a new matrix A. Once again, I'm no longer looking for MB, but rather A, B, and C, which is the least squared solutions for this one. And sure enough, now I get my three values. And now I have my same points, 
But now instead of looking at mx plus b, I want to look at ax squared plus bx plus c. And that should be my quadratic. Now let's take a look. And sure enough, I have the best quadratic function that fits this data. So we can see that was a pretty simple modification. I could step it up as well. I could go to cubix or quartix or quintix or whatever else I wanted to do here. All right, so in this video, we've demonstrated how to use the least squares technique to find the best line and the best quadratic function to a set of given data. And that concludes this video. Thank you.